welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing a review on the iphone 4s as you have seen my my previous video on reviewing the iphone 4s is the same procedure so let's get let's get started and let's go buy iphone 4s so i have actually ordered the the iphone now and let's wait for a few days for the phone to get here before we continue with the video okay guys as, as you can see we are we are the ebay website now so now let's go search for an iphone 4s Okay, so this is the iPhone, so iPhone 4S. So yeah, there we are. So as you all know, I don't buy the I don't buy the refurbished ones, and this one is unlocked from AT and T, so it's quite risky to buy this. So yeah. So let's continue with this. So we're gonna search for a while. Okay, guys. So this is actually funny. We have the iPhone 4S model A A one three eight seven for 99 cents shipping from the united states uh, let's just take a look at this okay so so let's just okay there's i don't think there's any listing for this i mean there's not any oh okay so it's it's for parts and not working okay okay Oh, there's actually a crack at the back. Oh, I mean it's in pretty bad condition, guys. Yep, as you can see here, uh, it's in pretty bad condition, so... Okay, still 99 cents seems to be a good deal, but we're not gonna get this. We're gonna get a fully working iPhone with a box. So, let's get started. So, let's say Unlock Excellent 4S 16GB Verizon at and No, we're not gonna get that one. We are going to buy from someone who actually bought it when it first came out in 2011. Okay guys, this looks promising. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's the phone here. So... Okay, if I'm not wrong, yep. There's actually a crack yep there's there's a crack on the phone so yep let's continue so no we are not gonna buy that one this is brand new factory seal okay this looks good but rare never open okay guys so there's a lot of scammers out there i'm not saying this is a scam but yeah this might be a scam So now this looks good. This this one, the 16 GB one. So let's take a look. Okay, guys. So okay, so this is the the listing says it's iPhone 4s, but it's actually iPhone 4 box. I mean, it's a four iPhone 4 box. So yeah, I think you can take a look at the phone first. Okay, so there's technically no picture to indicate the difference between iPhone 4s and 4. So, so the iPhone 4s has like has a has a different band, has a, has a different Wi-Fi band. So, yeah, so we're not gonna buy that. Okay, guys, so this looks promising. So it says iPhone 4 16 GB black with box and earpods. Okay. So there should be some QR code down there. Hopefully this is not a prototype phone, but yeah. Okay, so it says it has the earpods and stuff. So yeah, this looks promising guys. So yeah. So let's go buy it. let's go buy this now. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go sign in and buy. Four to six weeks later. Okay guys, so now the phone has arrived and so yeah the phone has arrived so let's now take a look. So here's the phone and and I actually haven't switched it on yet, so yep, let's take a look. So it's the iPhone 4S and yep, iPhone 4S so there's the 
Apple iPhone the picture at the front and it's actually a 3G phone so yeah let's get to everything so let me just turn this around and yeah so here we are so it's the iPhone 4s 16 GB yeah and it, and you can see here is the 16 GB phone and and this was manufactured back in 2012 as you can see here the Apple logo I mean you can see it's the 2012 Apple ink so, yeah. so now let's just unbox the phone now so yeah let's just open this so okay so that that's it so we have the phone here with us so let's take a look at the phone later oh and it and it, and it actually has the it has the black uh it has this paper at the back so yeah let's just take a look at this later and now let's unbox this so this is the usual stuff so this is the design by apple okay so this is the normal paperwork so let's just take this out and now here we have the oh now we have the charger and the normal power adapter yeah, there we go oh and and this actually has the dedicated pin for that so yeah okay so here we go let's just open this oh and before we open this let's take a look this is not the US pin but it's the Asia pin so I don't know how but yeah this is the Asia pin I actually ordered it from the US but it's the Asia pin which is pretty good because my socket is also the same so let's continue there we go so this is the normal SIM ejector tool oh I think yes I think this is, the, this is not the original but I'm not sure for this so let's just open it up oh so it's like that okay so it's the hello paper and yeah okay so it's the manual let's take it out this oh okay okay so this actually is another manual in chinese this okay this is the i'm, I'm not sure so, okay, okay there we go i found the english version so it says phone info so yep oh this the user guide safety and handling oh and and this is the warranty paper so it's the one year limited warranty and apparently the warranty has a, has a expired long time ago so and yeah here's the original apple stickers for the iphone 4 s so I, i've been saying it's the iphone 4 but it's actually the iphone 4 s yep so 4s so yeah so now let's take a look at this book leaflet yeah so let me just open this up so hello and yeah quick start guide okay so there you can see the ui the ui, the UI is different so yeah there you can see iphone 4s so yeah there's the facetime messages so it's the usual leaflets oh So it's the usual stuff. Oh, there's actually a two page to this, so there we go. Pretty much nothing, so yeah, just the usual stuff. Let's just keep it to one side. So now let's take a look at the phone now. So here we have the iPhone 4S, so so here we are. And at the, at the back is the, oh the, the, there's actually this paper protecting the phone from the back so actually, actually I'm not gonna peel this off so let's just keep this so now let's move on let's move on to switching on the phone okay there we go we have the Apple logo let's wait for it to boot up so before we go into the details let's take a look at the external side of the phone so so at the, so yeah, I'm just locked the phone so now at the side we have the 
with the famous mute and unmute switch so there there we go as you can see yeah so there's nothing new about it and next is the rounded off uh, volume volume increase and volume re reduce button so yeah so let me just show you so this is the mute switch i'm gonna unmute it now so let me just unlock the phone first so uh, unmute this one okay so yeah, there we go finger and now i can put it into silent mode the the buttons are quite hard so yeah okay silent so now let's take a look at this one so the so, uh, so the bottom of the phone the, bo the bottom of the phone has this uh has, has has the 30 pin charging and 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 beside that there's two speakers yeah so this so as as i showed you guys in the charging before as a charger before so there's the 30 pin is the 30 pin and and the iphone 4s was the last phone with the 30 pin charger all uh all the future phones from iphone 5 all the way to the current phones as as of 2021 the iphone 12 still has the lightning connector so yeah so the only uh, iphones to ship with a 30 pin connectors were the iphone 2g 3g 3gs and iphone 4 and 4s the the, the lightning was introduced in with the iphone 5 so yeah Continue. okay so now as i told you guys the home button is not working so we, we're gonna use the assistive touch for now so let me just turn on the phone now okay so let's yeah and and before that the the, the power button is at the top and the headphone jack is at the top also the below is just the speakers and the charging port so you have to connect the headphones at the top and and there's this and the rear camera is is 8 megapixels so it was a pretty good it was a pretty big feature back then so and and this has autofocus too so this single lens camera had auto autofocus and led flash is at the side as you can see so yep so this can record videos up to 1080p so that's quite good and the 30 frames per second with audio so 30 frames per second was a big deal back in 2012 so yeah so now moving on to the display so yeah so let's just unlock the phone so yeah so the day so the display is a retina display which is 3.5 inch with multi-touch display and it's a 960 by 640 pixel resolution so yeah um, and as usual it has the fingerprint resistant coating on the front and the back too so let me just remove let me just remove this sticker to just show you guys I'm gonna stick the sticker back soon so let me just take it out okay so now with the sticker off you can see so this back has this olive for big coating, coating so yeah so as you can see here the the model number is a1387 yeah so there's, so there's the model number for the iphone 4 yeah, for the iphone 4s yeah, so now it looks better without the case but um, i always prefer protecting my phone so yeah So now, talk, so now I'm talking about the battery of the phone. The battery has, the battery is up to 200 hours of standby time, and and it has eight, eight hours talk time on 3G and 14 hours talk time on 2G. But now, unfortunately, 2, 2G has been stopped on many occasions, uh, on many regions. So we can't use 2G now, but 3G is available, and and we are able to make calls on this phone. So yeah. Okay, so now let's take a look at the software of the phone so let's go to settings and, and as you can see the ui is very different from today's ui so let's check it out so the software is so let's just wait a minute for it to load so okay so now it's on ios 9.3.6 
So this is the UI in iOS 9.3.6 and, and, and if I'm not wrong, I think you can downgrade it to uh, still iOS 6 which was what this iPhone was shipped with So yeah So now let's take a look at the phone, about the phone. So, so the capacity is a 12GB I mean, I mean this phone is a 16GB but it's available to in its capacity is 12.6GB so uh, yeah, so it's on version 9.3.6 uh, and now let's take a look at the wallpapers available on for this phone so let's go to wallpapers and yeah so this has the this all the wallpapers available some wallpapers are not available on, on new iPhones as they were stopped on this old iPhone so for, for example this flower this flower will be, is, is not available on new iPhones and yeah so the maximum brightness for this phone is 500 CD so okay so we can put it down from here the control center is here so so we are going to max out the brightness so I'm going to put this brightness as full max I'm going to turn off the lights so that you can see it better so now the lights are off and and you can see that this brightness is actually not sharp but the but the blue color lights um, but the white color light is just being spread out and it's not sharp on the phone since it's a since it's a traffic years old phone we can't really complain so now let's take a look at the notification so the so notification is very different from today's iPhone so yeah so as you can see this is the calendar so there's there's actually we, the, a place of widgets and, no, and notification on the notification center so here we are the stocks and so uh, so there's actually I I can see the events available for me tomorrow and, and I can also edit, edit the page so as you can see so I can add the different widgets I want so I actually have this app called dictionary.com which I can include uh, and I can take it out if I don't want to so that's it so we have it done so there's also no notification on this so there we are okay so here we are so as you can see the, the these are the not notifications the the notifications are actually separated according to which day the they were there and and you can see the maps app has also be it's also different and and the video app is actually close similar to final cut pro yeah so the UI is quite different. I'm, I'm actually a fan of this new UI. So, I mean, of, of this old UI. So yeah, but the health app, but the, but the health app has not changed a lot. So yeah, and this wall, uh, and the wall also app, wall app also didn't change much. So that's it. So yeah. So before we end the video, let's just do a quick. Uh, speaker test to go to test out the capacity of these tiny speakers so actually youtube so actually youtube is loading for a very long time and it's still processing so let's wait for it to load okay so it has loaded and let's wait so here we are you can see the keyboard here the keyboard here is different so there we are so now the music is loading I mean it's, it's playing so let's just turn on the volume to full to max and there we are as you can see here so this is the speaker it's actually pretty loud this is actually pretty loud co compared with the size of the speakers I mean it's not as loud as today's iPhones but this was this is actually pretty loud. This this is actually louder than I expected it to be. So there we are. Mm, yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope hope you guys liked it. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye bye.